and hello YouTube, this is GS Man Smart, and I'm going to a brand new video for Gaming with GS. Today's video is going to be a little different from all the other videos. It's going to be a Guild Wars 2 video, but it's actually going to be a spotlight on one of these new websites that has either recently came out or recently been like really popular. Um, I was watching Wooden Potatoes. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of the guy. He makes a bunch of videos. You should check him out. He's really, uh, he's really fun. He gives you a lot of uh, Guild Wars 2 news really up to date. But he was talking about this website. And I, I sort of wanted to share it with um, my audience, I guess. And this is a great website. This is probably the most up-to-date website that we currently have. Um, and it's really cool. I mean, there's so many statistics you can get from here. Uh, so many things that you know you would usually have to look up on several different websites everything is just here um, you know I've done videos in the past where I've where I've taught you how to play the trading post well they have a trading post section here I've had videos in the past where I've taught you you know where to find certain um, nodes for gathering well they have that right here I've recently you know done crafting tutorials well they have that right here world bosses they have that right here everything is here um, that <clears throat> That, you know that's very common in other websites but there's so much more to it and the title of the video basically tells you what it is uh, one of the biggest things this website offers is it tells you how much your account is worth out of all the hours that you've played on Guild Wars 2 it tells you how much your account is worth and that's something really cool I mean um, we don't have something like that in Guild Wars 2 yet and there's a lot of cool things on his website. I definitely recommend you guys to check it out. And we're starting to be going through his website with my own account. So what you want to do is I'll leave the link in the description to this website. But we're going to take a quick tour of it. Um, but if you want to view your account and view how much it's worth, and you know, view a bunch of other cool stuff like your die collection, your wardrobe collection, we're going to go through this. But if you want to see some cool stuff on your account, you're going to have to go to the Guild Wars 2 website first. So we're just going to go ahead and search it up real quick. You're going to have to log on to the, um, you're going to have to log on to the actual, your actual Guild Wars 2 account. Okay, so when you log on to your account here, and you head over to Applications here, I'll leave all the links in the description. And... What you can do here is get an API key. And what it basically does, it allows you to share your account information with third party websites so that you can see all these statistics. Now, ArenaNet provides these API keys, so these are trusted um, websites, are not going to like you know, try to hack your account or whatever. This is provided by ArenaNet and um, they are safe to use. So all you got to do is click new key, new, new key here, and you want to go ahead and check mark all of this. And sometimes this will be updated. So I mean, for now, just check mark everything. Eventually, it's probably gonna be more boxes, and then give it a name. We're just gonna give it DW2. Create API key, and then it's gonna give you this key here. You want to copy it. And then we're going to head back over here. And what you have to do is go to account here. Yeah, just click on click on characters or overview or just click any of these ones right here that require an API key. And then just go ahead and paste it in. Click okay. And now if you go to the account section, it'll tell you how much your account is worth. And this is just one of the cool things on the website. It's going to take a while to load though. So we're going to go ahead and go to the other sections real quick. Uh, there's a community lottery on this website, which is pretty cool. I mean, right now they're giving away some cool stuff you can enter. Right now there's only over a thousand people. So I highly recommend you to join. It's pretty cool stuff. I mean, not many, web not many websites do this. So if you enter your account name here, you can actually... Um, Enter the lottery. Um, the last drawing. Here are the winners. You know, pretty uh, cool. And they have the uh, TeamSpeak, the Reddit here. So if you want to check that out, uh, another another cool thing is, and I'm probably going to do a video on this soon. They have guides here. They actually have the Frost Gorge train, and this is actually the newest uh, version of the Frost Gorge train. Um, if you recall, there used to be an old Frost Gorge train 
and it's it got nerfed. Well, this is the new up-to-date one, and if you'd like to read all through this, uh, you may do so. But I'm actually going to do a video on this in the future. Um, here they have the Silver Wastes Guide, and then they also have uh, the Cursed Shore Train and the uh, Patch Notes. A lot of this is still work in progress, so everything is obviously not um, you know, completed yet. But it's great to see that new stuff like this is being updated. For gathering, I mean, here you have, oops, here you have places where you can find uh, certain materials. As you see here, cabbage. Here it tells you where cabbage is. Rich items, potatoes, lettuce, rich copper, rich iron, you know, rich iron or silver. It's great stuff. So if you're ever looking for a certain node, um, here it pretty much tells you. You can also filter it up here. For example, if I want to find platinum only, then I can click platinum. Well, you actually have to uncheck this. If I only want to see platinum, then you just uncheck everything else, and here it will tell you where rich platinum ores are. So it's pretty cool. I mean, this is really helpful. I'm probably going to do a video on this as well. I mean, um, you know, it's a great website, great tool, really. But um, after that, we have World Bosses, which is pretty pretty standard. I mean, we've seen so many websites do this sort of thing. Um, but, you know, obviously you have to have this because it, 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 is a, um, it is a major thing in Guild Wars 2. So, you have this. You can even... You know, do little check marks here for yourself if you like to have this website open on the side on a second monitor or something like that. A great tool here. We have dungeons here, and this is kind of cool. Um, what you can do here with these with this dungeon tab is, of course, it's going to tell you, you know, how much you'll get for each path that you do, how much you'll get, how much you'll get for the story mode, and all that and all that cool stuff. But what you can also do with this uh, dungeon page is you can even create a new for example you go to manage runs for example currently I have no runs right but I can actually add my own dungeon run here by clicking add new run and then you know you can go ahead and you know which dungeon did you do you know which path did you use say I did ask long catacombs and say I did path 3 uh, what group were you running with I was running with randoms or profession you know, I was running on my, let's say, Guardian. And then you can even, you can start a timer but right before the dungeon starts, or you can enter a time manually. And what this will do is then, when you go back to manage runs, it'll tell you, you know, a list of all your runs, and it'll give you, it'll sort of give you a perspective of what is the fastest dungeon run. And if you go to overview, it'll tell you uh, your fastest, your best run, obviously, right now, your average run, your worst run. And it's a, it's a nice little micromanagement tool that you can use if you're into statistics, if you're really into this type of stuff. You know, it's, it's something to look into. We haven't had some of this in any, in any other website, and it's great to have this now. Uh, you can even do the daily thing, you know, if you've done it already, you can put a check mark or not. You know, it's a great little tool here. Then we have trading posts, which is pretty standard. I mean, a lot of websites have this now. Um, you can do current transactions, which is basically, you know, what you currently have. You can, you can basically check your transactions without even logging into the game, which is nice if you have a lot of things. Inve investment history, which uh, basically, once again, collects your data and sees what you have invested. Obviously, it's taking a time to load. Export to Excel if you want to do that. Um, but ma mainly the trading post here, if you type you know an item in, let's say you need a lot of silk scraps for ascended crafting, you know, you type in silk scraps, and, well, you actually type in silk scrap. And then it'll tell you how much the price is now, when you, whether you want to buy it now or whether you want to bid on it. It'll tell you the flip value, and you can even add this to your tracked items. And whenever you go back on here, you know it'll tell you how much it costs. But even better, they have a graph here. It says show detailed information, and you even get you know how much the price has changed, uh, what's the best time to buy it, sort of stuff like that. We've gone over some of this stuff in previous videos on how to play a trading post. But now this website, you know, it has everything, and this this is just like the the hub now. This is the main hub for like everything. It's great. You know, you don't have to use a bunch of websites anymore for you know a bunch of different things. Great website. Uh, you have currencies here to tell you all about the currencies for each dungeon. 
uh, the required recipes have a chance to drop off the last boss of each path. Uh, lots of different cool information here. It tells you, you know, the, the weapons to craft the Mystic Forge requiring additional 50 spirit shards each and the tokens you need for it as well. So, great stuff here. Spirit shards even. Karma right now obviously is not developed yet. Uh, guild stuff, claim tickets. You know, it really gives you a nice overview of what you can do with your currency. Right here, it tells you what you can use with your uh, claim tickets. So if you don't know, you know what to use with claim tickets, here's a nice list for you of what you can use it for. Um, so currencies is great, you know, if you don't know what to use your currencies with a lot, here's a great list for you, showing you what you can actually use. I mean, I know a lot of people who don't even know, well, what can you buy with guild commendations? Well, now I hear you know what you can buy with guild commendations. So great tool for that. Um, the next and the last little bar here, or tab if you want to call it, is actually the main feature of this website. And I've kept it for last because we're probably going to be spending a lot of time on it. Um, but if we go to the account page, now I probably loaded early, you probably guys saw. But here it will tell you how much your account is worth. And my account probably isn't worth much because, you know, I'm not a hardcore uh, Guild Wars 2 gamer. I do love the, you know, I play it every now and then, but I don't have that many hours on it. Um, but here it tells you right here, my account is worth 756 gold currently. Uh, total money, 218. Total money by 195. But it gives you a lot of stats here on, you know, how much, you know, one of your characters is worth. <laughs> you can see here, um, my, um, my Char Warrior is only worth a six silver right now. The Vandalf, my Elementalist. Value is eight gold right now, but you know I'm sure a lot of people have a ton more. It sort of breaks it down. It breaks it down how much is worth, how much your character is worth here. Um, unlocked skins. All of my skins I unlocked are worth 478 gold. My dyes I've unlocked are worth nearly five gold. All of my materials that I currently have, I can you know sell them. Their value of 200. If I were to go and you know money for selling or money for buying what this means is basically just you know how when you when you're selling stuff on a trading post you can you know sell you can sell it immediately or you could sell it to a bidder to a, a bidder that's basically what that means but um cool stuff here and you can you can obviously also go tab by tab here it tells you <coughs> all of the characters that you have i only have five characters but it tells you, you know, all the information that you have. And the cool thing about this is that you can even, you know, click one of your characters here. And it will actually tell you your build even. And as you can see, I have my Ascended gear here. Except for my staff. I haven't crafted that yet. But, you know, this is pretty cool. And this is something that ArenaNet has not made available really to any of us. Where you can check people's builds. And now you can actually uh, check people's builds. If... You know they provide you with the link but pretty cool this is actually all pretty much up to date this is pretty much what I have equipped um, if we go into our next set right here we have PvP they give you a lot more stats here than they do in game uh, here it tells you matches played your win rate the level you have obviously lifetime stats pretty cool stuff latest matches even and if you head into your wallet, here it tells you all the stuff you have in your wallet currently. Currently I have 43 gold, 300 gems. I've wasted a lot of karma, so I'm down to 31,000 karma. Pretty cool stuff though. We head over to the bank. Here it tells you how much everything in your bank is worth. Currently everything that I have worth in the bank is uh, worth 5 gold. Excluding taxes, 6 gold. I don't have much in the bank. Material storage, all the materials that you have and how much it's worth. 200 gold excluding taxes, 170 if I were to sell everything in my everything in my bank, all the materials in my bank if I were to sell it, I would basically get 170 gold if I put on sell price for buy price 147 gold. Uh, you have a wardrobe even, and this is a, it's pretty cool here what you can do in the wardrobe. Um, so you know how in 
in game you have a wardrobe too and it basically shows you all of the gear that you've acquired and you know all these skins that you have here it tells you uh, my wardrobe is worth 478 gold and if I wanted to complete my entire wardrobe I need, I would need to use 241,000 gold and you know cool thing about this is it lists every th all the uh, all the skins that you have and if you were to click it even it even gives you a preview some previews um, have not been updated obviously yet but another cool thing is if you were to you know it tell, even tells you how to acquire it if you right here you can buy you can acquire this from buying it on a trading post or you click the wiki right here it'll pop it up in the guild wars 2 wiki it'll tell you scale helmet and it'll tell you the recipe so it'll tell you how to you know get certain gear let's close this I'll tell you how to get certain gear get certain skins that you may be looking for and you see preview here's the preview pretty cool stuff then we also have dies and this is really interesting here it basically loads all the dies that you have and you know if we go down I don't have many of the rare dies but it puts a check mark next to all the dies you have and it tells you your dies are worth four gold if I were to complete the die collection I would need 8,000 gold to complete it pretty much and that's pretty much it there's a one other thing that's really cool about this I believe it's over here if you click detailed statistics about the wealth distribution available if you go ahead and click this it will actually tell you what the richest person is who has entered their API key and this is really cool you see right here we have a person who has 214,000 gold in 8,000 hours of play 14,000 hours of play and you, you can see like a little leaderboard here and down here you have a you have a more specific distribution where it tells you on oh, 99 percent of players you know between zero and a hundred between zero and a hundred hour you know basically they have one gold um, one percent of players have this much 0.5 percent of players this much the medium the mean the maximum the minimum so pretty cool wealth distribution here you have here 5,000 plus hours the average that a player has with 5,000 plus hours is 34,000 gold so pretty cool highly recommend you guys check the website out it's a pretty useful tool and you know you can compare with your friends you know whose account is worth more I guess if you want to do that um, you can um, also clear your you can clear the uh, API key if you like but uh, you need to create an account I believe I created an, I don't know if you need to create an account but I mean it's no harm in creating an account it just literally takes 20 seconds <laughs> like it says in the home page but definitely recommend you check it out you know great stuff if you're if you're using it for a tool you know just to see how your character is doing how much it's worth or if you're using it for some of these tools up here regardless it's a great website and I'll leave all the links in the description below hopefully you enjoyed this video and it wasn't anything you know it wasn't a tutorial or any guide but it sort of is a guide because you know I've given you guys this tool now for those of you who aren't aware of this website you know how you, you now have this tool to use it you know for gathering or crafting um, and at crafting, I don't think we've actually gone over crafting. Crafting is actually really cool here because what it what it, what it does is, for example, say you wanted to craft. Um, for example, let's say we wanted to craft an exalted coat, right? And actually, I think you need to actually. Um, let's say you wanted to create a knight's knight's exalted coat. What it will do here, it will actually tell you your shopping list, what you need to buy, it will tell you your crafting steps, and it will tell you how much it will cost, whether you want to you know, buy it through uh, the buy price or the sell price. And you can even put, I want to craft, you know, I want to craft three of them. This is how much it will cost for three of them. And this, bas <coughs> and this basically updates as well. So, neat website. Sorry that I kind of skipped over this. Um, but glad I had just noticed it because this is a really cool uh, crafting calculator. One thing that I haven't seen on its website, which will be a great addition, and I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe I, maybe I've looked over it. But what I have not seen here yet 
is TP Calc, which basically, if we go back over here, and I'm sure I've mentioned this website on several of my other videos, but one thing that I have not yet seen on this website is this, where you you know say uh, say I wanna say I'm gonna say I'm gonna sell something for you know 20 gold, how much are the taxes gonna be? How much am I really getting? I'm really gonna get, you know, 17 gold. Or say I'm, you know, say I'm gonna buy something for 25 gold off the trading post, but I'm gonna sell it for 20. Well, I'm not really gonna get a flip profit. I'm gonna actually lose money. So they actually, they don't, I haven't seen a calculator here yet. It'd be great if they actually implement this. But I guess you could say they kind of have it because, I mean, say I wanted to buy potatoes, right? Say I wanted to buy, um, I guess you have to say I wanted to buy um, potato here it tells me the uh, the flip profit right here so I mean I guess they kind of have it calculated but they don't actually have like a calculator that you can type in yourself but besides that great website encourage you to check it out and uh, that's pretty much it for the video we're gonna be uploading more Guild Wars 2 stuff if you haven't seen my uh gold guides if you're into um, finding out tips for gold making or I have plenty of other guides on my channel about Guild Wars 2. I highly recommend you check those out as well. It could be very helpful and um, pretty much it guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. I hope that this video helped you out in any way. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It'll really help me out. If you didn't like it, you can leave a comment below as well and give some feedback. If you have any other comments or questions, please leave them in the comments as well. And I usually try my best to answer those comments within the next 24 to 48 hours, depending on how busy I am. I also have plenty of other content on my channel about different gaming tutorials, as well as general gaming videos for Guild Wars 2, League of Legends, Minecraft, and any others that you may be interested in. So if you're interested in that type of stuff, check it out. And if you like what you see, you can subscribe too would really appreciate it. You can also check out my other channels and social media as I show on the screen right now. And with that, thank you so much everyone and this is GSMAO Smart and I'll be back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere.